Let's take a look at what's new in this release. After starting AutoCAD, you'll see the new Start tab. Here you can use the Open button to open a drawing, or use the drop down to open a sheet set. Click New to start a new drawing from the default template, or click the drop down to browse templates or create a new sheet set. You can view and sort through your recent drawings or explore various online learning content. Down here, you can explore various online resources like the What's New, Online Help, the AutoCAD Web App, the AutoCAD Mobile App, and more. While you're working in a drawing, you can always navigate back to the Start tab by clicking here. Activity Insights provides an understanding of the past actions you or others have performed regarding your drawings. Activity Insights tracks activities whenever a drawing is opened and being worked on. Use Activity Insights to view version histories and collaborate across Autodesk products. From the Recent Drawings list in the Start tab, you can view a drawing's activities without having to open the file. Hatches can now be drawn without pre-existing boundary geometry. Create a filled shape using the rectangle or circle draw options, or hatch along a path using the polyline option. In this demo, I'll draw a rectangular hatch over this area of the drawing. See the product help for a complete list of new commands and system variables related to the new features.